Most of the things we struggle with didn't start with us. They've been passed down in our family line. You don't get to choose your battles. You didn't get to pick what you'll have to deal with. Just as you inherit your parents' DNA, which determines your eye color, and how tall you'll be, what kind of hair you'll have, you also inherit attitudes, habits, and behaviors from those that have gone before you. Research shows how depression can be passed down. Anger, low self-esteem, addictions. It was in your bloodline and it showed up with you. I've seen families that can't get along, parents arguing, cousins upset, siblings bitter, grandparents at odds. That's a spirit of strife, a spirit of division that keeps getting passed down. I knew this young man growing up, his father was indicted for fraud went to prison. This young man told me how his grandfather was the same way. He was so upset with them, couldn't understand why they'd make poor choices, why they'd cheat people. 20 years later, a friend called and said, did you hear about so-and-so? He's in trouble for fraud. He didn't choose it, it chose him. It will continue to go from generation to generation until someone rises up and says, I'm gonna break this negative cycle. It didn't start with you. The good news is it can end with you. You can be the one that affects generations to come. You can make it easier on your children and grandchildren. And it's good to look back at your family history and see what are we good at? What do we excel in? And what are the weaknesses? Where do I see a pattern of mediocrity, compromise, and failure? When you understand those same spirits are coming after you, then you can be on guard. You can be prepared. Say, no thanks, depression. You're not welcome here. No thanks, I'm not giving in to this addiction, this compromise. No thanks, I'm not living inferior, insecure, angry, bitter. Don't let that iniquity continue on. It's been in your family line, but the reason you're hearing this is so that you can put an end to it. I heard this phrase, it ran in my family, until it ran into me. You're the difference maker. You're called to set a new standard. You're the exception. Everyone in your family was negative except you. Everyone was broke except you. Everyone addicted except you. Everyone bitter except you. I am looking at exceptional people, people that stand out, people that defy the odds, people that break barriers. You can stop the plague in your family. You can be the Phineas. There may be negative baggage, people compromising, addictions, mediocrity. It just takes one Phineas, one man, one woman to break the cycle of defeat. My prayer is God give us Phineases. Give us people who will rise up, not just accept the dysfunction, not just live with the defeat, but will have the courage to make a difference, to put an end to what's limiting us. Phineas had to kill the compromise, kill the disrespect, kill the worshiping of idols. It was drastic, it was extreme, but what you don't kill will end up killing you. And there are negative things in our family line that we have to say, you cannot live in my life. It's symbolic. You have to kill the anger, kill the addiction, kill the unforgiveness. You can stop the plague, but as long as you allow these things to live, it's gonna kill your dreams, kill your peace, kill your freedom, kill your purpose. Now be a Phineas, have the courage to step up. Our attitude should be, this may have been passed down, but it's not gonna get past me. This is where it ends. This is where the depression stops. This is where the addiction, the low self-esteem, the poverty mindset comes to an end. Don't live with the dysfunction, break the dysfunction. Well, nobody in my family is successful. We just barely get by. That's what was passed down to you. That's the way it's been, but you're a Phineas. You're putting an end to that. You're called to rise higher. You're called to put a stop to that plague. But Joy, everyone in my family struggles with addictions. We all compromise, we all have anger issues. That would be a good excuse to stay that way, if not for one thing, you're a Phineas. You have the courage to step in. God has destined you to break the negative cycle, 
to set your family on a new course, to reach levels that you've never seen. Now, don't miss your chance. This is a window of opportunity, a door that will not always be open. It may be difficult, but God won't ask you to do something and not give you the grace to do it. Your children are counting on you. Your great-grandchildren, their destinies hang in the balance. Will they deal with the same things you do? Or will you put an end to it? Will you be the one to break that negative cycle and stop the plague? I already know the answer. I'm looking at Phineas's. I'm looking at barrier breakers. I'm looking at people who are called, equipped, and anointed. The power in you is greater than any power that's trying to stop you. You're going to feel a new sense of courage. God's favor is going to be on you in a greater way. Things you've struggled with in the past are not going to be a struggle anymore. Chains that have held you back are being broken. Strongholds that have kept you captive are coming down. God's going to do what you can't do on your own. When you stand for righteousness, when you refuse to compromise, when you say, no, I'm not hanging around these same friends that are holding me back. When you break out of that negative mindset and believe bigger, pray bolder, dream larger, you're going to see the hand of God turn things around, break addictions, bring you out of dysfunction, promote you to levels that you never thought possible. Think about all these people living with the plague and one man rose up and did something about it. One man broke that cycle that had killed 24,000 people. How many people are going to live better off because you had the courage to step up? How many of your relatives will look back and say, wow, thank God for Phineas. Thank God for Julie. Thank God for Uncle Robert. Thank God for Marcella. Now we're free. Now we're blessed. Now we're confident. Now we're successful. Because you're a Phineas, because you killed what could have killed you, you're impacting generations to come. You're one of those heroes of faith. Deceit, manipulation, dishonesty, that's not a coincidence. That's a spirit that keeps getting passed down. It just needs a Phineas for someone to rise up and say, no, we're not living like this. I recognize what's happening. I'm gonna live as a person of honor, true to my word, with integrity. One time Abraham had to travel to a new city and his wife Sarah was very beautiful and he was afraid that the people would kill him so they could have her. So he lied and told King Abimelech that Sarah was his sister, that they weren't married. The king later found out the truth. Eventually, Abraham passed. Years later, his son Isaac was traveling through the same city. His wife, Rebecca, was very beautiful. Isaac was afraid they would get rid of him to have her. He told King Abimelech, the same king, that Rebekah was his sister and not his wife. And it's interesting how these negative traits keep getting passed down. It's the same way today. It can be a spirit of low self-esteem. Everyone in your family feels unworthy, not good enough, not attractive. Do yourself a favor, be a Phineas. Put an end to it. You're made in the image of God. You have royal blood flowing through your veins. Turn off that unworthy, inferior gene. Let it stay dormant. Maybe it's a spirit of mediocrity. No one in your family can get ahead. You're not expecting anything good. Oh, we're just average people. You have to get rid of that spirit. It's been passed down long enough. It ran in your family. The good news is it ran into you. You're the Phineas. Get your passion back. Start expecting to rise higher. Start declaring God's promises over your life. It's good to ask yourself, why do I struggle in this area? Why do I feel I'm not good enough? Why am I drawn to compromise, to addictions, to manipulation? Those are battles you didn't choose. Battles that didn't start with you. They were passed down, but they can stop with you. You can be the Phineas. It may not be easy, but if you'll make a move, God will make a move. If you'll take a step of faith, God will give you the grace to do what you can't do on your own. He's just waiting for you to rise up. That may mean to forgive, to get rid of the bitterness. It may mean to get help with that addiction, to attend our freedom class. It may mean, like my father, to have a new mindset, 
to not accept defeat and mediocrity as your destiny, to have a new vision, to believe that you can leave your mark. You can break that negative cycle and be the one to set your family on a new course. You have to deactivate those negative traits that have been passed down. You didn't have anything to do with it. It's an iniquity, something you inherited, but God wouldn't have allowed it if it was going to keep you from your destiny. Could it be if you don't rise up and put a stop to what's hindering you, then hundreds of years from now, your family will still be struggling with it? God is saying, this is your time. This is your moment. Your destiny is calling out. You can either put up with it and let it conquer you, or you can put your foot down and say, no, I'm going to be a Phineas. I'm going to put a stop to what's holding us back. I'm going to deal with this addiction, this anger, this compromise, this depression. I'm not going to let my history keep me from my destiny. And yes, we all have negative things in our family line, but when you gave your life to Christ, you became a new creation. There is strength in your genes. There is freedom in your genes. There's health, abundance, victory is in your genes. Well, Joel, this is encouraging, but everybody in my family gets divorced. We all have addictions. Everyone struggles in their finances. Here's the catch. You're not everyone. You're the exception. You're a phineas. You have more knowledge than they had. The favor on your life is stronger. The blessing is greater. The anointing is more powerful. They may have lived with it, but you were raised up to put an end to it. You're the difference maker. You can break that negative cycle. It makes a difference what you're passing down. Your choices will affect generations to come. You may have things in your family line that have been there for generations. Addictions, poverty, divorce, compromise. It's going to stay there until someone rises up and puts a stop to it. I'm saying you're the Phineas. You're the one God has raised up to break the negative cycle. This is not an option. You have to kill it or it will kill your dreams. It will kill your potential. It will kill your purpose. There's a battle in your bloodline. You didn't choose it, but you can win it. The forces that are for you are greater than forces that are against you. And if you'll rise up and be a Phineas, I believe and declare like God did for him, there's going to be a blessing on your family line. 